This is the Bond portable laptop book stand that I picked up for just around 10 bucks from Aldi. Yeah, Aldi. I was looking through their special buys area and I found this. Uh, let's touch on the package design. It stuck out to me because it's nice, clean layout, all that other stuff. Love that it came in a cardboard box. Very little stuff on the inside. It can work for four different things like they were showing on their laptops, books, whatever you need. I was wanting something that was good and portable for my shows. Now, the bag it comes with and the instructions are the only things on the inside. Got rid of the instructions. This is pretty self-explanatory. The bag is really nice. It protects it really well. And if you travel with it, it'll protect whatever else you pack it with. It's really compact, really, really sturdy. It's made from an aluminum alloy and every last bit of it is bead blasted. So it feels really good. There's not one sharp edge on there at all. You'll notice all of these pads that's for surface protection of whatever media or item you're putting on them. As far as how it, the form and function of it, it is so smooth. I love that every single thing. Now the hinges are very much friction based. So I imagine at some point in time, they're going to loosen up more and more, but that isn't really an issue. This just has to function long enough for an item to be placed upon it and for gravity to do what it's supposed to do, which as you'll see in the video, it works really well. So you just, you have seven different points of adjustment for the angle for viewing. And man, these things would have come in handy for me at C2E2. I had forgotten my walls at that show. Anything to have gotten my books, my prints up off of the table would have been really helpful. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a turnaround on this thing. It looks beautiful as it is. It's really a nice bit of industrial art, really, when you look at it. And I know that's not everyone's thing, but I used to have these really, really dense metal ones that I would put on my table and they just look clunky, got in the way, and they added so much to whatever I was carrying to shows. Now here, I'm gonna put my Hero's Journal on it. It's a nice, thick, hardbound book. It's a journal that I use. And uh, it, it has no problem holding this up. It's not a heavy book, but it is a thicker book and it's probably about the overall thickness of about maybe five or six comic books, you know, that are maybe boarded and bagged. I've had those on it before. Here it is open, holds it no problem. Granted, with that X aspect in the center, it can certainly go much wider and give much better support to, the, to both the front and the back cover when they're splayed open. Breaking it back down, super simple. It's exactly the reverse of it. It goes together. There's no chance of pinching your fingers or anything else like that. Slides right back in the bag, super easy. Closes up, no issues. I have a feeling this is going to last for quite a while and uh, you know it's when it's done it's about 10 and a half inches long overall about an inch wide there's a lot of pros it's lightweight it's got variable angles on it protective pouch 10 bucks each collapsible all that stuff but it's not carried all the time by aldi so it might be a little scarce to find you know it could be pricey if you needed to buy a bunch of them at 10 bucks a pop i give it a good solid nine out of ten Now, the next thing I've got coming up in the episode after this one is I'm going to be reviewing some Japanese engineer brand tools. I had really been waiting for these. I'm so excited to cover these things. There's about four of them total. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for watching.